God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healing. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Pastor, this is Savio. Last week he came with a lamp under his armpit. He could not lift up the, the hand and he was scheduled for an operation. But immediately he walked out of this place, totally healed, totally no healed. lamp, vanished. No lamp, no operation needed. You can move it upside down, down. All the lamp is gone, son, completely gone. What a miracle. Lift your hands to Jesus. He loves you, son. He loves you. Live as a living testimony. This is Shanil and uh, their little child, three years and 11 months old, went into a situation. It was a precarious situation. They were, the child was admitted to the ICU and the child became motionless and the doctors did not know. They said that it's once in a million that this kind of a situation will come. And the child became motionless and his eyes could not be opened and his vital signs were failing. Breathing, he could not breathe properly. Then they cried out and pastor, you came into that place and you laid hands upon the child and said, only believe, only believe and thank Jesus. And the child opened his eyes, Pastor. The child opened his eyes. And the parents are rejoicing to Oh, Lord, my God. He loves you, son. Your tears and your precious wife. Your cry. Your, he heard it, son. He loves you. Your child will live. And your child will tell everyone, Jesus is my God. He loves you. Lift your hand. What a miracle, what a miracle. He loves you. He loves you. Yes. Tanvi says on Sunday she hurt her, her elbow in the school. For three days she had pain. She's been thanking Jesus and the pain is gone. Completely gone. It's a miracle. You thanked Jesus and the pain went. You can move your hand. Look at that. For three days you had pain, child. Now it's not there. You thanked Jesus. Look at the joy. Lift your hands to Jesus. Look at the joy and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is Felicia. During yes. this week, she's been having piercing pain on her head. Even when she used to touch it, she used to feel the glands and the lumps. But she kept on praising and thanking God and yesterday it all disappeared. Completely, completely gone. The glands or the lumps or the pain. Completely gone, child. It's your praises. It's your praises, child. Lift your hand to Jesus. Lift your hand. A blessed mother, you and your home will live, my child, always. Say thank you to Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone, and say thank you to Jesus. Yes, sir. Pastor, this is Huntington. Last week, he, he had an accident that made his left knee always having pain when he's stepping. Tonight, came with the pain, but right now he says he's totally healed. Totally no more healed. pain. All the pain is gone, son. You can swing your leg and all that. All the pain is gone. You came with the pain and it's gone, son. And you were there singing. How many of you believe Jesus is here in this church? Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Nora. For six months, she's been having pain on the left-hand side, arm and shoulders. She said she was feeling shy to come, but she said the Lord has completely, completely healed her. Gone. All the pain is gone. Move it through your hand, child. It's fine. It's fine. Look at that hand. All oh, that pain is gone. Look at the joy. Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. This is Colette. For four months, she's been suffering with a pain in her stomach on that side. Today, Jesus healed her Completely instantly. Gone, as you child. said it, it's gone. Four months, you had that pain, child. You don't have it now. It's gone, child. You can move it, swing it, do something. You were crying with that pain, child. Now it's gone. You can bend down and show me or whatever, child. Look at that. Look at that. It's completely gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed this blessed girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. This is Rohan. It's a marvelous testimony, Pastor. 
this uh, friend of Rohan who back back home in Sri Lanka he's watching your programs live and this on his legs and he had this for eight long years a severe rash on his legs doctors couldn't do anything pastor but he continuously watched your programs and he is healed and this is this is the photo which is today he is watching your program right now lord. live from my sri lanka lord my lord look at all this skin skin scratches it's all it is all what was what he was watching and this is now pastor for eight long years doctors couldn't do anything gone. completely gone you can see it you will never go to sri lanka you will be with me until rapture so this is Razel. She came to the service today with fever, shivering, and a severe migraine headache. Now she says all, all the symptoms. All fever, completely. and your body pains are all gone. You can move your hand now, up and down. Headache. You had a headache. She said it's all gone now. Completely gone. You feel fine. Can lift your hand and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is Bata. For three months, she's been suffering with pain on her left leg, right in the front. Today, she says instantly the pain is gone completely. You came healed. with that pain, child, on your left knee. You can move your leg, child. You can stamp your feet, daughter. Oh, no pain has gone, child. All the pain has gone. Who healed this dear girl? Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Anna. She came to the service today with pain right under her neck. She said instantly the pain is completely you gone. Have a, completely. Then you have the pain, child, under your neck. It's gone, child. Completely. You can move your head up and down, child. All the pain is gone. Completely gone. Who oh, healed this dear girl? Lift your hand to Jesus. By his strength, he's coming to lay your hands on you. He is coming to lay his hands on you. Close your eyes and receive your healing. 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 Jesus heals you. Jesus heals you. Jesus heals you. Jesus heals you. Holy Spirit 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 delivers you. Holy Spirit delivers you. Holy Spirit casts out every work of the defeated devil. You are saved. You are healed. You are blessed. Lift your hands one more time to Jesus. Wherever the disease is, it will just come out now. You can look up to Jesus, closing your eyes. The Son of God is Jesus. He is here. Thank you, Lord, for the blood that cleanseth me. Thank you for the Spirit of God that quickeneth me even now. By the power of your resurrection, Jesus. By the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. All you dirty, defeated ailments. Leave! Come out of the bodies now. Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, uh, just to save time, from verse 1 to verse 11. Verse 1 to verse 11. Here we see, the, he was walking along the shores of Gennesaret, Sea of Galilee, and people pressed him for the word. They didn't say, pray for us, pray for us, pray for us. They pressed him for the word, the Bible says. It's the word, that's what we started with, the word. Get interested in the word and praise him. And the Bible says he saw two ships standing by the lake. And the fishermen had gone out. They were out of the boats and were washing their nets. It was not, my loving child, it was not by accident. He was not taking a morning walk. He was walking there, the Bible says, led by the Holy Spirit. Acts of the Apostles 10 verse 38 Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 verse 38 he was led by the Holy Spirit he was he was powered by the Holy Spirit and he was going around look at the love of Jesus he was going around doing good he was going around doing good Holy Spirit is given to us to do good not to freak out 
Holy Spirit is given to us. He is the most gentle spirit. He is the most powerful spirit. He is the most compassionate spirit. He is the most rejoicing spirit. He is the most holy spirit. He is the most loving spirit. He is the most life-giving spirit, Holy Spirit, the spirit of the Father and the Son, Jesus. Bible says, Acts 10, 38, he was anointed with the Holy Spirit. He was walking around to do good. This is your Savior and my Savior. That is why we said his love will never let you go. He walks around in the church that exalts his blood. He walks around in any ministry that exalts his blood. Why? To do good for anyone whose life is so disturbed and disappointed, discouraged, my loving children. His love will never let you go. The dirty, defeated devil that caused that disturbance, that caused that disappointment, that caused that whatever uh, uh, situation in your life, physically or mentally or uh, emotionally, my loving child, today has to go because Jesus will not let you go. Do you know, do you understand that, my beloved? Jesus, it's like a tug of war. How many of you know in sports meet when we were in school, my beloved, I don't know whether they have that here in Dubai, my loving children, my beloved children, they have tug of war and it's a big rope and two sides are there and they pull and pull and pull. My dearest children, the dirty, defeated devil is trying to pull you and me with temptations. But he is no match to the resurrected Jesus. He is no match. You can't compare. He is a lost person. Today, Jesus, the victor, he is going to pull you through into his victory tonight. He will never let you go. He will never let you go. My loving children, he loves you, he loves you. The devil has lost and will lose all the time. Jesus is here tonight, he loves you. Only praise, praise, don't depend on your prayer, but depend on his word. He is here tonight. As he was walking, he saw two boats empty. He, people had gathered so much for his word. He had no place to stand on the shore. So he saw one empty boat and got into the boat and told the boatman to just take it into the water a little. It was early morning, my loving children. The boatmen were out of the boat and they were washing. They were washing the nets. They were tired after a night fishing, my loving children. They were tired after a night fishing time. My beloved ones, he is here tonight. He loves you. You may be tired of what the life is giving you, my beloved ones. You may be tired in many areas in your life, my loving children. His life, his love will never let you go. You may be tired of asking. You may be tired of people letting you down. You may be tired of temptations troubling your life. You may be tired of financial adversities in life. You may be tired of medicines and weaknesses, my loving children. You may be tired of not being successful in business or in your work, mentally, emotionally, physically, my loving children. Today, he will never let you go. You are going to be victorious again in Jesus' name. He loves you. He loves every one of you, beloved. And he said, please, those boatmen were tired. They were disappointed because if you further go on reading that portion, they didn't catch any fish. They had returned empty in the morning. My loving child, things could have not worked according to your expectation. When they set out in the night, they would have planned a big catch and a big sail the next day. But lo and behold, there was no fish. They didn't catch anything. My loving children, all their expectations were totally brought to zero. 
You may have very many expectations in life, my loving children. You may have great desires, my beloved children. You may be praying, my dearest children, my loving child, my blessed children. And you may say, God, all my expectations are virtually not ever going to pass. My dearest child, whoever you are, the love of Jesus will never let you go. Tonight, he is going to meet your need. All the love is gone, son. What a miracle. Lift your hands to Jesus. He could not even jump, but now we can jump. The jumper. Mark. Don't need that anymore. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. To all our dear ones in Canada, this is your opportunity to receive miracles, healings with signs, wonders, and life in abundance as Pastor Dill comes into Canada for Miracle Moments. Jesus loves you. He loves you. They're all their expectations finished. All their aspirations finished. Why did it happen? The question comes now. Why did it happen? Then further questions can come. Why did God let it happen, my loving child? Today and forever we speak from God's viewpoint, not point of view, viewpoint, from God's, in God's eyes. No matter what the dirty, defeated devil did, any disturbance, any discouragement, any disappointment is all from the dirty, defeated devil. You must settle that in your life. It's nothing to do with your father or my father, your God or my God. John 10.10, 10. John 10.10, 10. you can read. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So you know who has done it all. He can do it through circumstances. He can do it through experiences. He can do it through certain people. But he is the source, but and he is defeated forever. Second Corinthians 2:14, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, Hebrews 2, 9, Galatians 3, 13. Just to tell you the enemy is destroyed and defeated. My loving child, why then did God allow it? Now that's another question for educated people, intellectuals, learned people, great men and women of God. Who am I? Nothing, nothing, huh? nothing. Why did God allow it? My darling children, God works on one principle, on invitation. Simple. God works on invitation. Moses had to call God. Abraham had to call God. Joshua had to call God, but he'll tell us how to call him. He will tell us, call me and I will come. Call, is a, you know, is, is, a, is a, such a fascinating, wonderful father. He will say, call me and I will come. That's the father. He loves to hear your voice. He loves to hear your heart. He loves to hear your, your, your mood. He loves to hear who you are. My dearest, he says, call me my son, that's enough. That's my invitation. He waits for, a, he's a father. He's not a robo. My loving children, he's a father of feelings. Hebrews 4, 15, he, 16, Hebrews 2, 18, he loves you. He says, child, you just call me, that's all. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and calls me, I will come. Revelations 3 verse 20. So we must call him. We must invite him. We must invite him. The best way to invite him, Psalm 22 verse 3. He dwells in the midst of praises. The will of God concerning you and me is to thank him all the time. 
First Thessalonians 5.18. So when you are in difficulty, when you are in pain, when you are in agony, my loving children, he is somewhere there. He is somewhere there waiting for your call, waiting for your invitation. And the best way, and uh, I would say very sure way, sure way, of getting him into every situation in your life or my life is to say, thank you, Jesus, you are there for me. Thank you, Father, you are there for me. I tell you, you before you could finish, he is there with you. Amen. Jehovah Shammah, lift your hands to him. He is there with you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. So these two people could have been wondering why we are expert fishermen. Expert, we have, been, have knowledge, we have intellect, we have intelligence, we have experience, we have this. But why did it happen? My loving children, we go to church, we pray, we do this, we do this. But why did it happen? Are you praising him enough? Are you thanking him enough? Are you expressing your gratitude to him enough? That's the open door. That's the open door. He will come in to bless you, honor you, heal you, deliver you, prosper you and me until rapture and eternal. Anyway, in every step we are learning from the gospel. They were washing their nets. They were worried. They were worried. In washing, they were also thinking whether the net is broken, whether the net, there are, where are, there are things uh, that could have got stuck, the fish couldn't get in, dirt and whatever weeds and all kinds of reeds and all kinds of things in the water. My loving children. So they were examining. That's the next step. Thank you, Jesus, you are there for me. Thank you, Jesus, you are there for me. The next step is we, you and I, must examine ourselves. God, where have I gone wrong? Where did I miss you, God? Where was I not obedient to you, God? In church, in my family life, in my finance, in my Bible reading, or in my praising, or in my behavior, in my office, behavior in my business. I didn't love, I didn't forgive, I didn't be, be kind, I was dishonest, or I was going after money, I was not respectful, whatever, I don't know. You and I, we must examine, that's what they were doing. They were examining the nets. They were worried, why God, why all this happening in my life? Jesus came there. He said, just get into the water, little. And the boatman was Simon. So he's, Jesus got into the boat. He got into the boat. My loving children, he is here tonight. He is coming into your boat on the very invitation you give tonight now. Lift your hands and say, come into my boat, God. Come into my life boat. Come into my life boat in, in a way that it has never happened before, God. He's doing it now. He says, Come, son, come, my daughter, into the word, into the word. He took them into the water, and there he preached the word to the multitudes waiting. Then, then comes the theme of this message. He turned to Simon. He was the boatman. First time he is having an encounter with him. He turned to Simon and said, Take the boat now to the middle of the sea, into the deep waters, and put all your nets, put all your nets, N-E-T-S, and you will catch a great catch. You will take a great catch. He could have just got off the boat, thanked him, and gone off. He could have said, Simon, tomorrow you are going to be blessed. Thank you. My loving child, Simon gave his time. He could have, Simon on the other hand, could have gone home. He was tired. He was disappointed. He had questions to ask whoever whom he believed at that time. Why, God, why? 
Why am I a disappointed person always? Why am I a discouraged person always? Why am I a person always in a dilemma in life? Dilemma means always unable to decide what is right. Why God? Why all these dis disasters in my home, in my health, in my finance, my loving children? You may be asking. Simon had so much of justified reasons to go home. He gave a little to Jesus. He preached the Bible gospel to multitudes. Every, everyone went. They were blessed. They were saved. They were healed. Everything done. There was a healing rally probably. Done. Finished. And Jesus, he could have just gone off. Thank you, sir. I have to go home. I want to rest. I want to see why this has happened. I want to think. No, nothing. But he was there with Jesus. He had much to do. He had much to do. He had never met Jesus before. But he saw the love of this man. He saw the grace in that man. He saw the power in that man. He never preached with weakness. He preached with wholeness all the time. Though full of love, he is love himself, Jesus. 1 John 4, 8. But he spoke with power, my loving children, because he is God. I am going to pray now. Shall we pray now? Loving Father, our gracious Father, our ever-loving Abba Father, in Jesus' name, I humble myself and come to you. The blood of your Son, Jesus, even today, cleanses us, saves us, and gives us the victory. Holy Spirit, we give it all to you. Come, Holy Spirit, take over. And in the name of Jesus, let everyone who watches these programs worldwide, worldwide, miracle moments, let them receive God life and life in abundance thank you father in jesus name let them receive physical healing right now father in jesus name thank you father let new organs be created in their bodies thank you father in jesus name let there be lives with peace and joy in these long years until rapture in jesus name i thank you father let every home every child every man woman who watches or hears these programs be so blessed father with life in abundance victorious in jesus name until rapture in midday with us and eternal with you jesus in our father's mansions let every tear be wiped away let every tear be wiped away resurrected jesus my God and my Lord and our healer, let every tear be wiped away by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let them all rejoice. Let everyone rejoice in Jesus Christ forever. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.